Alright, in this video I want to do a couple examples of solving some very basic fundamental types of linear equations. And linear equations are just certainly uh, one of the most common types of equations you'll have to solve in any sort of algebra or pre-calculus or trig or even st stats. Um, almost really no matter what math class you, you take, I think you'll definitely run into solving linear equations. So, okay, and our, our, our two examples here, um, pretty similar. In, in part A, we have 2x minus 18 equals 14. And again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out some number for x that if we plug it into the left side, multiply it by 2, and then subtract 18 away from it, we want to get the number 14 at the end. And you may be able to even play around and guess the value for x, you know, just, just, just by thinking about it. But obviously the thing that's important is having a procedure because you may have more complicated equations to solve and then you know you may not be able to guess. My thought process is this. Um, the basic idea, anything that's being multiplied by an x, I try to put it on one side of the equation. All the numbers, I try to put them on the other side of the equation. I combine all my like terms and then I try to simplify the little bit that's left over. So. In this case, there's not going to be a lot to do just because there's, you know, there's a pretty, it's a pretty basic problem. So, but I see when I look at this, I see one, two, three terms. I see the two x, um, I see this minus 18, and then I see this 14 on the other side. To to move terms to either side of the equation, you either just add them or subtract them. So again, I'm thinking, well, I want to get the two x by itself. There's a minus 18 hanging out over there with him and I don't want the minus 18 to be over there. Well, to undo that, since I'm subtracting 18, I can add 18 to both sides. And again, if you have two things that are equal, if you, if you give both of those things 18, if you add 18 to both of them, they would still be equal. So the idea is we're left with 2x on the left. Minus 18 and plus 18 is just 0, so that cancels out or goes away. We have 14 plus 18, which is 32. So now I'm at a kind of a good place. I've, I've got you know my x's on one side, my numbers on the other. And again, what I'm trying to do is I, I want to get x all by itself. So now I think, well, what's happening to the x? He's being, he's being multiplied by 2. Well, what undoes multiplication? Well, the operation that undoes multiplication is division. So since I'm multiplying by 2, if I divide both sides by 2. On the left side, 2 divided by 2 is just 1x. And then 32 divided by 2 is 16. And hey, now I've got my solution. So notice if you plug 16 back into the original, you get 2 times 16, which would be 32, minus 18. Hey, that would give you 14. So kind of another important thing, you can always check your solutions. Okay, in our next one we have 4y plus 22 equals 0. Again, I want to get the stuff with the variable all by itself. Since I'm adding 22, I'm going to do the opposite, which is to subtract 22. On the left side, our 4y would just drop down. Positive 22 minus 22 would just leave us with plus 0. Again, we don't really write that. And then 0 minus 22 would be negative 22. And again, now the same thing. Um, over here we were multiplying by 2, so we divided by 2. Well now I'm multiplying by 4, so what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 4. And 4 divided by 4 would simply give us 1y. Again, we typically don't write the 1. Negative 22 over 4, I think we can reduce that. Those are both even, so certainly we could make it negative 11 over 2. And since this doesn't reduce any further, I would just stop right there. You could turn this into a decimal. I guess that's negative uh, 5.5. You could turn it into a mixed number, negative 5 and 1 half. Um, but typically, I think in most classes, if you just leave it as a reduced fraction, um, that, will be, uh, that'll, that will be what people want to see. All right, so in another video, I'm going to do some more complicated uh, linear equations. Uh, where we have to distribute and combine some more like terms. But uh, again, basic idea, try to put all the variables on one side, all the numbers on the other. Once you combine them, the basic idea is whatever, whatever numbers in front of the variable, just divide by it, 
and then once you simplify it and do the arithmetic, you've got your answer.